Sorry, what brings you over here? A couple of things, actually. I was just wondering if you still had the baby naming book, and secondly, why aren't you returning any of my calls? As for the book, yep, I've got it right here. And uh, as far as the second question goes, I think you already know the answer to that. So you're still upset about our decision to have a baby? Oh, you bet I am. Irene, you don't understand. Oh, I don't, eh? Do you honestly think that having a baby is going to solve any of the problems that you and James are having? No, but I never Then why the would... hell are you doing it, Chloe? Last time I checked, there was only ever one reason to have a baby, and that's if both of you want one. Now, from what you've told me, you don't want one. I know. I know, and that's why I'm not going to fall pregnant. Not yet. Oh, really? And uh, how do you plan on managing that one? I'm still taking the pill. What? D does James know this? No, of course not. Chloe, you can't lie to him about something like this. If he finds out, it is going to ruin your relationship. Is that what you want? No. Look, why don't you just talk to him? Tell him that you're not ready to have a baby with him at the moment. Irene, he wants one so badly, <coughs> and I don't. <coughs> not yet, OK? Look, if it's just one little white lie, if nobody finds out, then nobody gets hurt. You are walking on thin ice, girlie. Just trust me, OK? I know what I'm doing. Yeah, well, I hope you do. If that lunch had been any lighter, I would have floated away. Yeah, you see, that was all part of the grand plan. To leave lots of room for dessert. Dessert, eh? Chocolate swirl. Well, how about we save that for later? Oh, but I even bought some sprinkles to put on top. Oh, well, that's real flattering. What? I'm coming a poor second to chocolate ice cream. No, chocolate swirl. Oh, that's OK, then. Look, you're not second best, OK? I'm just saving the best to last. OK. Well, now I am flattered. But I haven't got a lot of time. How about you put your taste buds on hold? Oh, James, I'll tell you what. I'll make you a deal, OK? All right. You run off to work, and tonight... Well, I think you know the rest. And I'm sure dinner will be good, too. All right, then. I'll cook you a gourmet delight that will knock you out. Are you sure that you don't want me to cook? I mean, I'm only going to be sitting here all afternoon no. study. I will do it. Yes, sir. All right. I'll see you tonight. OK. Bye. Bye. Thanks for looking after her. No, no worries. Now, where are you off to in such a hurry? Oh, I'm just going to Yabba Creek. No, oh, yeah, what for? I have to get a new prescription of my pill made up, and I don't really want to go to any doctors around here. You know, small town, James will find out. Why don't you just tell him, Chloe? I'm sure he'd understand. Because then I'd be back to square one with him wanting to adopt Olivia. And is that really so bad? I mean, I just feel like he's just been rushing me too much. You know, he's rushed me into marriage, rushing me to adopt Olivia. It's like it's just all going too fast. And I feel like he's trying to tie me down so that I can't run away. Chloe, tell me something. If Lockie walked through that door right now, told you that he was bitter and that he'd made a terrible mistake marrying that woman, what would you say? You know exactly what I'd say. Then what the hell are you doing in this marriage, girlie? I, I do love James. I do. But not enough, eh? He's going to find out, you know, Chloe. And the longer it takes him to find out, the more it's going to hurt him. Now, if you've got any love for him at all, you'll tell him it now. You'll end this marriage and you'll give him a chance to find real happiness. Perfect timing. Well, at least one thing's been perfect today. Why, well, work not too good? No, pretty horrendous. How about some wine? Oh, yes, please. James, isn't that one of your good yeah. bottles? Yeah, it is. What are you doing? You're meant to be saving it for a special occasion. What could be more special than tonight? Nothing like this. Cheers, then. Cheers. Doesn't taste it, that, does it? No, he's quite nice. 
Mum will be disappointed, though. She made me swear not to open it unless she was in the same room. Can I talk to you about something? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll just um, finish up in the kitchen first. Oh. Well, I'll go and have a shower then. OK, then. Dinner will be on the table when you get out. What was that that you uh, wanted to say earlier? What? When? Yeah, well, when you came home, you wanted to talk about something. Oh, did I? I can't remember. Oh, can't have been too important then. No. Well, what say we get an early night then? OK, I'll just clean up these dishes. No, no, no. I think the dishes can wait, don't you? Yeah, I guess so. I've been counting the days. James, you have got to get a better technique. <laughs> no, I mean, I've been counting the days. Oh. Yeah, yeah. By my calculations, uh, it should be a very good time to get an early night. Oh, right. Yeah, so I, uh, I think the dishes can wait. OK, well, I'll, I'll just put them in the sink then. OK. you out, but if you could, that would be great. Well, you know that uh, any time I can look after Olivia, I'm, I'm happy to do it. Thank you, Irene. Uh, have you um, had a chance to think about what you're going to say to James? Yeah, yeah. I laid in bed thinking about it all last night. I don't want to hurt him, Irene. And you reckon deceiving him like this isn't going to do that? Look, I tried to talk to him when I got home yesterday, OK? But you should have seen what he'd done. He'd gone to so much trouble, and he was just being so sweet. This baby obviously means a lot to him. All the more reason for you not to lie to him about it, love. I can't tell him not yet, I mean, I will, but just this isn't the right time. I just reckon you are buying yourself a whole heap of trouble. Whose side are you meant to be on anyway, Irene? Whose side am I on? Tell me this isn't a flippin' cricket match. Yeah, well, I thought that you, out of everyone, would at least try to understand. I am trying, girl. Believe you me, I'm, I'm just not there yet. Well, I'm hoping, with a bit of time, this might be different, OK? I don't know. Chloe, what happens if in a year's time you still don't feel any different, eh? Do you honestly think that you can keep fooling James for that long? The man is a doctor. If you don't fall pregnant, he's going to want to start sending you off for tests. How do you intend wriggling out of that, eh? I have to go and get changed. Thanks for looking after Olivia. Hey. Hello, I'm collecting for the Red Cross. Would you like to make a donation? Yeah, sure. Uh, just hang on a tick. Mm. Would you like a receipt? No. I can't believe you lied to me, particularly I about something like this. I, I didn't want to, honestly. How can I trust anything you're ever going to say? Please, will you let no, me explain? No, Chloe. I mean, what else have you lied to me about in the past? Nothing, nothing. I've never lied to you. I think we need to give each other some space. A couple of nights, maybe. Please, can't we just talk? Let me know where I'm staying. What's happening? He knows. How? He found my pills in my handbag. I tried to explain, but he was too angry to listen. <sighs> Chloe, this is exactly the sort of thing I was afraid of. And now he's packed his bags and he's gone. I told you not to let him go on thinking he wanted a baby when you didn't. I know, Irene, but honestly, it seemed to make sense at the time, OK? And then half an hour after I said that, I realised that I'd made a mistake, but I couldn't do anything about it. I just knew that I couldn't let him adopt Olivia. Love, it just because... Lucky is her father. <sighs> I guess that doesn't matter anymore, though, does it? 
All that matters is me and James and how I'm going to save our marriage. Uh, James. Leave you to it. James, please, can we talk? Look, I know that lying to you was unforgivable and I'm sorry, okay? I've been feeling sick about it ever since you left. Yeah, well, that makes two of us. James, I know we can work this out. Come on, Olivia misses you, I miss you. Can't you come home? Why? Why do you want me back? I love you. And why did you marry me? Because I love you. But are you in love with me? You see, the problem is, I'm in love with you. And I'm more and more in love with you every day we spend together. It's not your fault, you know. I, I knew you weren't in love when you married me. I don't know, I, I, I somehow thought it'd be okay. James. It's my own fault. Right? I don't know, I just... I can't stop thinking when we're alone together. How can I be sure you're not thinking of Lockie? Because I'm telling you, I'm not. I wish I could believe you. But I can't. I'm sorry, Chloe. It's over. Yes, but it's over. Oh, love, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it, Irene. It was my own silly fault. You were right. I shouldn't have lied to you in the first place. So, what happens now? I don't know. James sounded pretty definite. But, look, you're not just going to leave it at that, are you? I mean, you're going to try and patch things up, surely? Yeah, of course I am. Well, he's my husband. I'm not just going to throw my marriage away. I mean, I don't even know if you'd consider listening to me at the moment, though. Brought you some brekkie, mate. Oh, thanks, mate. You've known Chloe a long time, haven't you? A few years, yeah. And, uh, you think she'll ever get over Lockie? That's a tough one, mate. I mean, I don't know how much they meant to each other. What does she think? One day he'll miraculously reappear his old self and take her off into the sunset. Who knows what people think? I'm just trying to work it out, because I just don't get it. Why would she marry me if she's still hopeful about Lockie? Maybe she's not so much hopeful as actually can't be getting. I mean, I think about Kylie every single day. Chloe's not stupid, mate. She's not going to marry someone she doesn't love, you know? Yeah, well, there's love. And there's love. I chased her pretty hard. Maybe I pushed her into it. I don't want to be mean or anything, mate. And... <clears throat> I don't want to pay Chloe out, because she's actually a very good friend of mine. But I don't see why you're blaming yourself for this. I mean, you're not the one who lied. No. Yeah, but, um, you're actually the one sleeping on the couch. Yeah. I've been a bit of a doormat, haven't I? All I'm saying is you probably actually could stand up for yourself a bit more, I think. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Well, you see if I'm not. 